don't eat that junk food. Don't overeat it. You're going to hurt. Your stomach is going to hurt. Oh my God, I can tell you from experience. Yesterday I had an experience, I overate and I was regretting every moment of it. So in this video, we are going to talk about why we find ourselves gravitating towards junk food. Even though sometimes we are very disciplined, we find ourselves sleeping. And if you have that junk food uh, right in front of you, just watch this video first and then uh, decide later after this video if you are going to overeat or not. So first things first. If you're new to the channel subscribe and let's jump into the video now i have some notes here why we gravitate towards uh, junk food and number one is either we are bored we are sad we are lonely depressed or high what happened to me yesterday was i was high and i was bored combine those two and it's a very good recipe for going out there and buying some shit but before we start to indulge ourselves Let's, start, let's just look a couple of minutes later. So, obviously, your stomach is going to hurt. Like hell, I was really regretting yesterday why I ate the way I ate. And I was asking myself, like, truly, 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 I had an option of eating the cereal and the banana, but I just went for the junk food because I was bored. So, obviously, I am not comfortable with boredom yet. And if you're not comfortable with boredom yet, then you are comfortable with just the pain of being mediocre and the pain of uh, moving backwards because every time you eat that junk food and you overeat it you take away a lot of progress that you put in the gym so think about it are you ready to hurt your stomach for the next few hours if you are and if you are ready to uh, give up the progress you've done so far from the gym i give you permission to eat that junk food number two is obviously you're going to feel guilty you know if you are on a on a mission to say improve your health then the moment you start sabotaging your progress you're going to feel guilty like i felt i felt guilty and ashamed because why like i've been doing i've been putting all this work all this effort to achieve a certain goal and then i consciously choose to sabotage the goals or to delay the goals because i want to feel good for the next few hours and it's actually not feeling good you feel good for the next uh five minutes that you have food and then for the next few hours you are in agony because you obviously have overeaten which makes no sense and the moment you feel guilty if you are not aware you'll find yourself uh, jumping into this cycle of wanting to make yourself feel better and how do you do that Either you go to drugs, either you start doom scrolling, either you run away to porn. But either way, when you're guilty, it becomes this negative uh, loop of guilty pleasure, guilty pleasure, guilty pleasure. Number three is that you will want it to stop. So, you know, you, you have overeaten and you're regretting. You're like, why can't I stop this? And it's very simple. Just don't start uh, or be aware when you are starting to to see yourself uh, jumping into this junk food sometimes i find myself uh subconsciously i find myself i've gone to the shop and i've bought that junk food but when i'm there's a period between the shop and where i live and that period i get to think i get to get back my self awareness and what happens is that i end up giving away that junk food so uh, think about it. You want this to stop. So the only way for this to stop is by you actually stopping it. How do you stop it? Just don't do it. You know, if you have that junk food right now, get rid of it and ask yourself, think at the end, what do you want to experience at the end of the day? When you're going to sleep, how do you want to sleep? Do you want to feel guilty? Do you want to feel like a loser? Or do you want to feel like you've made progress you've become better than who you were yesterday lastly is that you will eat again if you eat right now oh my god i'm telling you you're going to binge eat again and again and again you are addicted my brother you are addicted and if you're addicted then obviously you need to treat this like an addiction so here's the thing you've been brainwashed to think that you cannot live a 
fulfilling and happy life and an, an enjoyable life if you are not uh, eating that junk food and I, I read this on easy peasy it, it's a book about how to overcome uh, porn addiction but it cuts across every addiction because I think it's the brainwashing you think that oh my god how is my life going to be how am I going to feel happy if I don't have junk food and that says a lot about how your life is if junk food is uh, the highest point of your day then obviously you need to uh, rethink about how you're living your life but my point being for me I find myself that this urges come every once in a while and every once in a while I might get uh, tempted and I might sleep but I get that self-awareness and and you know sometimes I might be in the process of binging and I feel like oh this is crazy no 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 let's get rid of the rest and you know just before everything is ruined you know you get to salvage a few things so my point being there are times when you go without the junk food and you feel good you feel awesome and if you don't feel awesome then you need to re recheck your life anyway my point being is that if you eat that junk food right now there is no way 100% you are going to enjoy the rest of your day so think about that think about that for a second and if you decide to eat that junk food well good luck anyway if you got value from today's video subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace out